Hello my little crafty monsters, how's everybody doing today? I hope everybody is fabulous! So, in today's fabulous tutorial, we are going to be making... I really, really, really need to stop doing that because that is getting a little out of hand, Jesse. Seriously. <laughs> but anyway, in today's fabulous tutorial, we are going to be making what? What? You want that to be my signature? No. <laughs> no, you don't. Knock it off. Don't encourage me. So, um, in today's tutorial, we are going to be making these adorable, adorable little uh, witches brooms. How cute are these little guys, right? I mean, seriously. Foo. They kind of let out a few stuff because we were chopping them and... <laughs> yeah so we were chopping them and so i guess some of that little stuff is still flying when i shook them maybe i should not have shook them huh boo boos anywho so these are the little boo boos that we are going to be making today now this was super easy all we went to do was we went to our backyard we grabbed some of these branches. I went ahead and I measured about three inches because I wanted them to be about three inches. And then we went ahead and painted them. We got some jute tool. No, jute twine. Jesse, get it straight. Get it straight, Bobo. Come on. Jute twine. <laughs> and then we went ahead and we unraveled that little boo boo right there. And then that's how we got the bristle look on our little brooms. So that's just jute twine damn why is that so hard for me to say anyways so that's how we got the little broom bristles and um our little handle for the broom is branches from our backyard don't tell me you ain't got no branches boo boo in your backyard unless unless you live in an apartment complex but even a comp apartment complexes have trees around boo boo go and jack you a freaking branch and make you some cute little witches brooms you know you want to make these boo boo so anywho let's not waste any more time let's go ahead and get down in dirty boo boos and i will see you in a bit all righty then my little crafty monsters let's get down in dirty and make these little cute witches brooms i mean super adorbs right so we just went ahead and we got some jute twine <laughs> and some of this folk art brown colored paint acrylic paint these little branches are from our tree in the back and then i got some wire cutters these are just a lot easier to cut the branches now i'm gonna go ahead and mark each one of these branches to three inches three inches is going to be the size that we will be making our little um the little broomsticks and so I'm going to just go ahead and mark them. I'm going to try to get as many as I possibly can. Now I'm making sure that the branch is not too thick. But it's also not too thin to where it's going to go ahead and break. You don't want that to break. So make sure that you are marking it on a part of the branch that's pretty thick enough that will, you know, it's not so fragile. And so once you got all of those little branches marked down, then go ahead and get your wire cutters and this just makes it a lot easier to snip that little branch off of the branch <laughs> and so i'm actually going to be making five of them and so once i have all five of my little broomsticks then i'm going to go ahead and start unraveling the jute twine and that was actually um, I don't know whose idea this was, but it was actually for, um, on Pinterest. Oh my God, why am I getting so tongue twisted? So I found the little, it was, you know how it shows you like steps. It shows a little jute twine and then it shows the person that was unwinding it and all that stuff. So I kind of figured out that's the way that that was being made. And so right here, I'm just going to go ahead and cut little strands to the same size. I want them to all be pretty uniform in size and don't worry too much about this part being too too long because we will be giving these little brooms a haircut once they are all put together it's just going to be making it a lot easier for you to do that 
And so once you have all of these little jute twines cut, then we're going to go ahead and start unraveling them. Now, unraveling them is pretty easy. I mean, it, they do let out a lot of fiber, so <laughs> make sure you are prepared for that. You can make these out of paper. I have a friend of mine, um, Abril, who she made some little broomsticks out of paper, out of crepe paper, which they looked very adorable, honestly, to tell you the truth. But I was going for more of a realistic look. So I went ahead and I was looking and looking. And then when I saw somebody unraveling the jute twine, I was like, yeah, that looks like bristles from the broom. So we're going to go ahead and it's now the jute twine is twisted in a certain direction. What you want to do to loosen the fibers is you want to go ahead and twist it the opposite direction of where it's twisted, if that makes any sense. And then that just starts to help unravel all of those little fibers and all that so it just makes it look like you know they're more smaller bristles and stuff like that and it looks a lot more fuller so this will take a while guys honestly to tell you the truth so make sure that you um get some little music or put on another video of paper to masterpiece while you're doing this part <laughs> and so um you can go ahead and um and make as many as you guys want. Now there is really, I didn't really count how many of those little strands that I actually cut. So that I would know how many of those strands it takes to make one broom. I really didn't do all of that calculations. And I am extremely sorry for that. But what I did do is I cut a few of them. And that I thought it was enough. And I'm just unraveling them now. So we're going to go ahead and speed up this process and start painting our little broomsticks so let's go ahead and put that aside and bring out our little rubber mat so that we can go ahead and paint these little broomsticks now the reason why i didn't stress too much about painting these first was because this acrylic paint dries pretty fast so i mean i'm not too too worried about that part so right here i'm just going to go ahead and give them a little coat now i could have left them that natural brown color that they are but I wanted to go ahead and paint them to make them a darker brown and then make all of the broomstick one uniform color. Um, but I did leave some of those notches on there and that just gave it that extra characteristic of a real broom made out of a, of a tree branch. <laughs> Which is what I would have thought an authentic witch would actually have, right? So I went ahead and I left some of those little notches on those little branches so that it just gave it that extra little detail and character. And I just thought that that would make it look super duper, duper cute. Now you guys could get pretty creative right here. You guys could paint them several shades of brown and give them the little streaks and all that and make them look like the whole wood grain and all that stuff. But in this case, these were a little bit too small. You have three inches to work with. Um, I didn't really want to worry too much about that part. So now I'm just going to go ahead and wipe down my fingers because they're all full of paint. And I'm going to go ahead and continue unraveling these. We're going to go ahead and speed up this process so that we can start seeing how to put these little bad boys together. And so now that you have all of your little dried um, broomsticks and your little broom bristles, we're going to go ahead and kind of figure out how much you will need for one broom and then with the thinner twine i'm going to go ahead and cut some strips because this is what i'm going to use to go ahead and tie all these bristles to the actual broomstick and we will be using some hot glue gun so don't worry about that guys the glue will also help to hold these little bristles in place and so right here i just put some glue around the little broomstick and then i wrapped it around the broom bristles and then i went ahead and i wind the little thinner twine and just made a knot. I'm also going to use some more glue onto that little knot just to make sure that it's secured and that it's not going to go anywhere. Right here I did add a little spider because I thought that it was going to work but Jesse forgot that the hot glue never works on those rubber spiders so we're going to go ahead and use some E6000 for that little puppy rat there, Bobo. And so this is just a repeat process. Now this is basically how I'm putting these little brooms together. And there really isn't a right or wrong way to do this. So, um, yeah. <laughs> so I found this was the easier way. So all I do is I just add glue onto all around the 
end of one of the little broomsticks. And then I go ahead and roll that over the little um, broom bristles. And then I tie them with a the twine. Now this is where you could get creative. You can make some with very little broom bristles to make them look pretty, you know, worn out and old. And then you can make some with a lot of broom bristles to make them look really, really full. I mean, the possibilities are endless here, my little crofty monsters. <laughs> I don't know what kind of an accent that was, Jesse, but that was pretty scary. But then again, we're in the Halloween spirit, so it goes with the theme, guys. Don't get scared, my little crafty monster. Sit your little cute butt down. And so right here, we're just going to go ahead and continue making all these little bad boys. And once we are done with these little bad boys, we will be getting our E6000. And we're going to go ahead and add those little spiders. Now, I just wanted to add those little spiders. There's a lot of things that you guys could add to these little broomsticks, honestly, to tell you the truth. If you want to make them look pretty cute. Put some little paper flowers in the front. Put like some little vines. Put like, you know, you can put so many things onto this little broom embellishment. And you can add it on, add it on to a project to give it that little accent. You can go ahead and even hang this and dangle it off of like a little um, binder or maybe like a loaded envelope or a loaded bag or anything that is loaded, a little loaded suitcase. Or maybe you want to add this onto a embellishment that you already have. I mean, that is a possibility. And so all you have to do here is basically just make as many little brooms as you really want. And that was super duper easy, guys. And so right here, I'm just going to go ahead and pick out my little um, spiders. I don't know why I keep wanting to call them tarantulas. But let's go ahead and trim our little Chris. Our <laughs> <laughs> Jesse was going to say Christmas trees. Jesse got it together. Bo -bo damn, I'm already trying to get to Christmas, guys. So <laughs> right here, we're going to go. You know what? It's Hobby Lobby's fault. The Hobby Lobby's. Everybody has their damn Christmas stuff out already. Oh, so right here, I'm just going to go ahead and try to trim all the bristles to the same length of size. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get my scissors and frontward. I'm going to go ahead and just chomp on the edges of that broom just to give it that really high and low and uneven cut. Just to make them look a little bit more weathered, a little bit more ununiformed and stuff like that, if that makes any sense. And if the top part of the little bristles are a little bit long, you can go ahead and trim those down the same exact way. You're going to notice me do that on this one right here. This is where I'm trimming the little bristles on the top where the broomstick is. So Because you want it to be kind of long, but you don't want it to be too, too long. And then, like I said, you're just kind of chomping. It's just really giving it that chompy look and that makes it look a lot more weathered a lot more used and distressed and stuff like that and so um this is that little haircut that was getting all over my mouth when you were shaking it just make sure that when you do this guys you guys go ahead and either do this part outside and then shake them outside or do this part and then just get like a little vacuum and kind of vacuum those that's what i actually do i have one of those little handheld vacuums and I just that's what I'm going to do um, and it'll basically pick up all those little loose fibers and hairs and all that stuff so now let's go ahead and get our E6000 and we're gonna go ahead and um, glue our little spiders onto where the knot of that broom is at and um, and then just glue them that way this way I know that it's not going to go nowhere and um and basically that little spider is going to be secured for whatever project that you want to add this little bad boy to i mean like i said you can add whatever you want i just had these little spiders offhand and i just thought hey you know why not just add a little spider on the front of the little broom i think it would look really cute so we did we did next time i probably want to add like a little pumpkin or Maybe like a little cat or something like that. I mean, there's so many little different things that you guys could add. And so these are the little bad boys. And these are them made. They were super easy, guys. I mean, honestly. And it was very, very cost efficient. Like, you did not have to purchase any special items. You have branches in the backyard. 
and you, I'm sure that you could get a hold of these little jute twines anywhere at Walmart or your craft stores. And there you have it, my little crafty monsters. Welcome back. Welcome back, my little crafty monsters. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Y'all need to stop doing that because... All right. Look at these. These are the little bad boys we just finished making right now. How easy were these? Okay, I'm going to put these down. Because I got to go outside and shake these little mofos because, you know, that little hair trim we gave them is letting out a lot of that little hair. So we got to go and uh, do something about that little boo-boos because uh, <laughs> that ain't going to cut it here. So anyway, that's how easy it was to make these little bad boys. I hope that inspires you guys to go out there to your little backyard. Go ahead, boo-boos. Get your little chubby butts up and go <laughs> to your backyard and get you some branches off of a tree, you know, and uh, make yourself some cute little witches uh, brooms for like an embellishment or maybe you want to like decorate something with one of those little bad boys i think it would be cute so anyway i hope you guys enjoyed that video as much as i enjoyed making it for you don't forget to go ahead and subscribe go ahead and hit that little picture it's the picture of moi and then we become bffffs because i know bfs is good but bffffs is better and i know you guys want to be my bffff F. so uh go ahead and hit that little subscribe button and also since you're already there go ahead and hit that little bell icon because the bell icon's for you boo boos that's so you guys don't be missing out on any new content when i put it out and go ahead and give me a thumbs up because my channel really really needs the thumbs up that'll help us grow and then also uh share like and tell a friend because you know that's what we always say up in here boo boos share like and tell a friend Hello! So anyways, that's it for now, my little crafty monsters. And until next time, goodbye!